Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse is such a beautiful film. Every shot was a work of art. Hidden shots like prime. Steph, chef, look at Curry, man. Miles Morales was that guy. Became Braun in 2018 to solo anyone who got in his way just to make it home. Gotta respect the dying, bro. All that to change is destiny. And man, it might not change anything at all. It's kind of like Damon Portland. And man, this dude, Spider-Man 2099, had the biggest bulk I've ever seen. It's like Giannis from his rookie year to now. Bro became that guy. Got all bulked up just to jump miles. That guy be racist, bro. Still, Miguel was the one cold dude, bro. I loved him. Now, Gwen Stage was also awesome, bro. And man, I'd be acting different too, Miles, especially since she's voiced by Haley Steinfeld. Haley got me different for real, man. Got me acting like Austin Reeves when I see the baddies. Not that fake stat short and pull dude, bro. Bro, drawn in the playoffs in front of plenty of baddies. Bro's not him. But for real, Gwen's story got the most closure and was the most beautiful to watch visually. Everything was great. Score, visuals, characters, all that. Like the 73 and 9 Warriors. Till the very end, which I don't think the film choked it as bad as 2016 Warriors, but it didn't close that out as great. And it really didn't know where to end. So it was still a very fine ending to a very great film. And it's basically a great teaser for the next film. So yeah, overall, this film was worth it. Now, Spider-Verse films are two for two, hitting like Jokic in the Western Conference Finals. And man, I hope they don't miss the third film, man. 9.5 out of 10. Loved it.